Hello and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Animals and Ames. My name is Ron Edwards. I'm the Animal Control Supervisor here for the Ames Animal Shelter and Animal Control Program. Our first guest with us today is Andy. Uh, Andy is a beautiful purebred border collie. Uh, he came into us as a stray, one of our um, shelter, uh, former shelter employees here brought Andy to us. And uh, he had been running out for quite some time and had some uh, some medical conditions, some skin issues that we're dealing with here. Oh, you want to lay down? You want to lay down? Um, he is actually extremely intelligent, as most border collies are. He's a little shy with the cameras here, but um, he does know sit, stay. He can shake. He'll roll over. Um, and I understand he's getting medicated baths um, a few times a week right now to help kind of clear up some of these skin issues that he has. Um, and I understand that he is a perfect angel when it comes to baths. Uh, he will sit there and uh, doesn't move an inch. The only thing, if you move a little bit to the side, he wants to be closer to you. So tends to get a little bit wet when you're giving him a bath. Oh, you want, you want to tell your story? You want to tell your story? Yes. So uh, came into us again as a stray. We don't know much about him. Um, again, just a, a real sweet dog. Um, he doesn't behave well in his kennel. So we're trying to get him used to meeting new people uh, there in the kennel environment. Um, but uh, I think it's just a little bit of fear coming out in him when he is there at the, at the front of the kennel when people see him. So if you're interested in a Border Collie, and they're not a dog for everybody. They're a herding breed. Um, herding, not herding. Um, so it's a breed that uh, you really need to know about and kind of uh, do some research on before you consider adopting. So maybe not the best dog to have with small little kids because they like to herd them into places that they want them to go into. Um, but Andy, again, he's getting some special medicated baths here with us and uh, uh, we're doing all that we can to take care of some of the skin issues that he has. But uh, again, a, a sweet dog here that uh, just wasn't, he was neglected wherever he was, whether he was dumped off or uh, just not taken care of. But again, a sweet dog that just needs some att extra attention, um, needs those medicated baths at first, and we're gonna clear that skin up. But along with some good food and uh, TLC, uh, we think that Andy's gonna make a great pet for a family. And uh, he does appear to be housebroken and house trained. So uh, we of course want Andy to live in a home uh, where he's gonna be with his people. So that's gonna be the best environment for Andy. So if you're interested in this breed and in Andy uh, and know anything about Border Collies, uh, come on down. Again, it's a breed you wanna do some research on and uh, kind of get to know more about them. But uh, Andy is a good boy here. Um, he's just a little bit scared here in the shelter environment. And, but he really does bond with people. The person who gives him the bath, our animal control officer, Kathy, uh, just fell in love with him and uh, wishes she could take him home. But uh, of course, as with all of us, we have a lot of pets at home. So trying to take another one home is not always that easy. So if you're interested in Andy, come on down to the Ames Animal Shelter. And our next guest for the day today is Zeus. Uh, Zeus is almost 120 pounds. There's a whole lot of energy here. Um, he is a purebred lab. Um, he does know some commands. Uh, sit is one of them, so that's a good thing with this big guy. Um, well, it doesn't stay very long. Uh, so he was surrendered because the owner did not have enough time for him. He's uh, two years and eight months old. Uh, he lived with an older lab, uh, so he has lived with other dogs. But because he is so rambunctious and he's a teenage lab, uh, we would probably recommend a, a dog that has some, you know, also has some high energy uh, with him, with them. Um, he is neutered. Uh, he is ready to be adopted. Um, but we're really going to uh, look for a special home for this guy. Because of his size, um, he really needs to be in an environment where um, people, there's no small kids because he will knock them over. Not that he's aggressive with them, but he easily knocks them over. Um, he almost knocks me over and I'm definitely not considered small. Uh, so <laughs> a good dog here, but just has a lot of energy. He does walk pretty good on the leash. He's just really excited to get out of his kennel right now. Uh, but he does walk good on his, his leash. Um, would not want to, uh, I don't think he's lived with cats. I don't think he's had a lot of exposure to cats, so we would not say that Zeus needs to go to a home with cats um, or any kind of small animals. His reaction to 
uh, the many rabbits that we have here in the hallway was not uh, too pleasant. So no kind of other animals, no exotics like rabbits, guinea pigs, um, and again, probably not cats. So if you're interested in a really big dog here, and, and he's going to need a place where he can run and exercise and play um, and just have a good old time. He really loves his tennis ball, which he's thrown somewhere here in the room. Um, but Zeus is just a, a great dog. Uh, again, a lot of energy. Um, needs someone that's very active, maybe a good running companion uh, with him. He needs to lose a little bit of weight here. Um, so that would probably help him get some of these extra pounds off. But uh, again, a very sweet, gentle dog um, that is just doesn't know his, his own size. <laughs> so we know there's a gentle dog somewhere in there. Um, you just got to get past the, the body size there. So again, uh, he was surrendered by his owner. He's available for adoption now at the shelter. We are accepting applications um, on both Andy and Zeus here because uh, we want to make sure that uh, we're finding a, a home for these guys that's going to be a permanent forever home. Uh, that's a goal with all of our animals and we definitely want to make sure that's the same here with Zeus, Andy, and all the rest of the animals that's here at the Ames Animal Shelter. So if you're interested in this big guy or Andy, uh, come on down to the shelter. We'd love to introduce you to them and uh, see if they might be a good match for your family. Our two final guests today are Dolce and Gabbana. Um, they were actually left in a very dangerous situation. Um, they were left in their cage with a sign that said free to a good home at one of the apartment complexes here in Ames. Um, that is never a safe way to find a new home for pets that you have um, failed to keep any kind of responsibility and responsible pet ownership. Um, if you buy them from pet stores, which is probably where these guys came from, uh, you need to make that commitment just as you would if you were adopting from an animal shelter. Unfortunately, some of the pet stores um, are just trying to sell them and don't do a whole lot of adoption counseling. But um, these two guys could have uh, very well not be with us here today if something would have happened to them. Leaving them out there with a free to a good home uh, note on the cage is just not a safe way to take care of these little guys. There's always options and that is not one of the safe options for them. So they're available for adoption. Um, they are two males. Um, they did come in with a cage and some toys. So someone spent some money to care for them when they got them originally and for whatever reason, whether they couldn't have them anymore uh, or just got tired of them, who knows what the story is. But these guys are both very nice, um, gentle pigs. We can call the guinea pigs pigs. Um, and, uh, you know, would make a great uh, companion for a family, a pair. They do have to be adopted together. Um, that is our policy with these guys. Um, they do bond really well together. Um, they're very distinct uh, looking and um, you can easily tell them apart and um, they haven't been handled a lot so they were probably just left in their cage and maybe some food was thrown in there for them but uh, these guys do need special attention. Um, they do need special care and um, there's only certain vets that have expertise in dealing with these exotic type creatures. Um, so, But they are gentle. They don't uh, typically bite. Um, in my uh, I like to hide. In my uh, almost 32 year career, I have never been bitten by a guinea pig and I've handled literally thousands of them. Um, so uh, they have teeth, there's always that possibility, um, but generally they're pretty gentle creatures um, and uh, just like to thrive and, and live in their environment together, keep each other company. Um, and can make some great pets. Don't require a, a, a whole lot of um, time and dedication, but they do require a clean living environment. Um, so it's really important. I can tell you a little bit of their story. Um, I wish they could tell us who dumped them off. That would be nice to know. Um, but uh, again, uh, dumping them off like that is not a safe way for these little guys. So if you're interested in a pair of guinea pigs, uh, we still have uh, quite a few guinea pigs here at the shelter available for adoption. Again, we do adopt them out in pairs. Um, if you have one at home that you're trying to pair up with another one, uh, you know, we can talk about that. But again, we do want to adopt these guys into pairs together uh, where um, they can live out their lives uh, uh, together as bonded buddies. So if you're interested in the guinea pigs, again, we have quite a few at the shelter. Come on down, we'd love to show them to you and talk more about the adoption process with these special guys.
So that's the show for today. We've shown you two dogs that we have available for adoption. We have several cats still, of course, looking for their forever homes. Uh, we have four rabbits that still need a forever home and I believe eight guinea pigs uh, that still need their forever homes here at the shelter. So um, lots of different types of animals here at the Ames Animal Shelter. I also want to send out a special thank you to the Lowe's employees and the Lowe's Corporation for their community project they recently committed and, and uh, performed here at the Ames Animal Shelter. They did a shelter cleanup day. Um, we're very fortunate they put new gravel in for the dog play yards. They put new weed barriers, uh, helped to secure the fence. Um, they put new speakers in a lot of the rooms here at the shelter, so we're able to play music now that helps to reduce the stress on the animals. So, nice classical music that helps to reduce the stress and keeps them calm and quiet while they're waiting for their forever home. So, we're very thankful to Lowe's and all their employees that uh, spearheaded that and um, just did a tremendous job here taking care of the shelter and helped to clean us up and get us all tidied up and uh, do a lot of things that are going to benefit our animals here in our community. So a very special thank you to Lowe's and, and all those employees for doing that um, project here. So thank you all for watching the show, for all your donations and support and for adopting the animals here. Uh, keep an eye on our Facebook page. We started a new thing about happy adoption tales. Uh, so every time we have an adoption, as long as the adopter is willing, we're going to put a picture of them along with the pet that they've adopted. Uh, a little bit of information about the animal that they've adopted on our Facebook page. So keep an eye on that. We'll try to keep that, uh, do our very best to keep that updated every time we have an adoption. So um, I'd love to not have any time because we have so many adoptions, but we'll, we'll do our best to keep that uh, updated on our Facebook page. Also check out our website as well, which is amesanimalshelter.org. Uh, it'll take you directly to this uh, webpage as part of the city's webpage. Um, and you can see animals that are available for adoption. If you've lost a pet, you can see those that are here. You can also see animals that have been found by the public that may not actually be here at the shelter. So if they find one and decide that they'd rather hold on to it, waiting to contact the owner, they can actually upload a picture of the pet they found. You can click on those and see those pets. So take a look at our uh, shelter page and take a look at all the different links that are on there. We have our statistics. Uh, every single animal is counted on our statistics. Uh, we have outcomes on there, our adoptions, animal reclaims, and the, um, the unfortunate euthanasias that have to happen uh, based on animal suffering typically for diseases and things like that. So um, very proud of our statistics. Take a look at those when you get a chance. And most importantly, thanks for watching today's show.